Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of economics in four minutes. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, we are going to discuss the idea of fixed cost and variable cost. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on economics, SPSS, R Studio, and econometrics. Let's begin with the introduction. What do we mean by cost? So cost is the expense that a firm incurs during the production of goods and services. So we have two types of costs, fixed cost and variable cost. So total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost. Now, what do we mean by fixed cost? So fixed cost does not change with the change in production of goods and services. For example, rent, salaries, loan payments. So these expenses do not change with the production they are constant and therefore they are known as fixed cost on the other hand variable cost changes with the change in production of goods and services for example taxes or operational expenses so higher the production higher the variable cost lower the production lower the variable cost let's understand this with the help of graph so here you can see fixed cost is constant. It is $50. On x-axis, we have quantity. On y-axis, we have cost. So this is the fixed cost curve, which is horizontal to, uh, which is horizontal and parallel to x-axis. Then we have variable cost. So you can see higher the production, higher the variable cost, lower the production, lower the variable cost. And therefore, it is upward sloping curve. That is the variable cost curve and it starts from origin. And then we have total cost, which is the uh, summation of fixed cost and variable cost. So total cost curve is above the variable cost curve. And it does not start from the origin. Now, what is average fixed cost? So if you divide fixed cost by quantity, you will get the average fixed cost. See the table, divide fixed cost by quantity, you will get the average fixed cost column. So you can see the average fixed cost curve is downward sloping. As output increases, as production increases, the average fixed cost declines. But the average fixed cost curve is asymptomatic. That means it neither touches x-axis or y-axis. Then we have average variable cost. So average variable cost is equal to variable cost divided by Q. So here, if you divide variable cost by quantity, you will get the average variable cost column. So the average variable cost curve is U-shaped. In the beginning, it declines, then it reaches the minimum point, and then it starts increasing. Now, why average variable cost curve is U-shaped? What is the reason? So it is due to law of variable proportions. In the beginning, keeping other factors constant, rise in variable factor increases the production at increasing rate because we are utilizing or firm is utilizing fixed factors efficiently. And after some point, due to overutilization of fixed factors, the output increases at diminishing rate. And that is why average variable cost curve is U-shaped. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.